Welcome to Frywall Fridays. Today we're making jambalaya, one of the all-time great one-pot meals. It's great for a crowd and it's really easy to make ahead. Let's get started. Our first step will be to finely chop three onions. Next, I'm going to chop up some bell pepper. And now some celery. And finally, we have some scallions. For the meat, I have about three and a half pounds of bone-in chicken. I'm using uh, thigh and drumsticks. You can also use um, chicken breast if you like. For our seasoning, we have salt, two types of pepper, granulated garlic, some Louisiana hot sauce, and then we have our rice. I'm using a Dutch oven for this recipe. I have about a quarter cup of oil and I'm going to add the chicken to it. The pot is already nice and hot. I'll let this go for about five or six minutes until the skin browns and the chicken releases easily. That looks good. I'll give it a few minutes on the other side too. These are ready to remove and I'll add the next batch. The chicken isn't cooked through at this point, it's just nicely browned on both sides. The fry wall has done its duty for this recipe. We're going to toss it in the sink, drain off the excess fat and continue with the recipe. I have about a tablespoon of oil left in the bottom of the pan and I'm going to go ahead and add the mirepoix. We're going to cook this on medium heat for about five, six, seven minutes until it's softened and starts to brown. I'm now going to add in the salt and our other spices as well as the hot sauce. Now the chicken is going to go in along with six cups of water or you can use chicken stock. I'm going to let everything come to a boil and then we're going to cover it and cook for about 20 or 25 minutes, enough time for the chicken to get nice and tender. The chicken is cooked through at this point. I'm going to add three cups of rice and give everything a little stir. Once the liquid is back up to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat and cover it for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to give it another little turn. I don't want to fuss with the rice too much. I don't want to break the grains. I just do want to give it a little turn and we're going to cover it and continue cooking for about another 10 minutes. The rice has been cooking for a total of about 25 or 30 minutes. I'm going to give the rice one more final turn and turn off the heat and close it and let it rest for about five minutes and then we're ready to eat. I'm going to bring it to the table just like this. And serve it up in a bowl. Some rice. And some chicken. When you're ready to serve it, feel free to add a little bit more of that Louisiana hot sauce. That's the way I have it, right there. As they say in France and in Louisiana, bon appetit. <laughs> 